Hey guys, in this video I will be taking a look at Zorin OS 5, this is the release candidate. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it is um, based off of Ubuntu and it is um, aimed at sort of, um, you know, new users to um, Linux, um, you know, users that are coming across from Windows. Um, anyhow, let's get stuck into it. I'm running it off of the live DVD. Um, I probably won't worry about installing it this time. Uh, so we have four icons on the desktop computer, your home folder, the trash can, and in this case, the um, installation link. Um, now I'm just going to check what file manager is in use. Um, yep. Uh, so Nautilus Elementary. You know, it looks um, pretty nice. Uh, I like the icons. It's got a nice um, icon set by default. Um, and let's take a look at the taskbar. We have the menu called No Menu. I will take a look at that in a minute. We have a few different links here. Um, it looks like, is this Chromium or Google Chrome? It looks like it's um, Google Chrome. Let's just um, open this up and um, see what it is. It's taking a little while to open up, probably because I'm running it off of um, the live DVD. Though um, it looks like it is um, the it looks like it is um, the Google Chrome um, logo because the Chromium one is usually blue and it's a bit odd because um, most um, distributions come with Chromium not Google Chrome because um, Google Chrome is obviously um, not open source though for some reason it doesn't really want to open I'm not sure why uh, we have a link to the file manager and what's this Banshee so it must have um, Banshee by default and it's also got the Windows 7 um, you know, style um, of pinned icons here. You know, you can pin and unpin icons and they, you know, probably open up down here as well, which is, you know, pretty nice. You know, Banshee is also a nice um, media player to have by default. I don't know what's with Chrome, it just doesn't want to open. Um, and we have a few, um, you know, a few um, icons over here. So um, this is to safely, um, you know, remove, um, you know, USB devices and portable hard drives, etc. Uh, this looks to be networking. We have volume control, and it's always nice how to have the Banshee controls here. Uh, we have, you know, you can set up your chat, email, you know, your Twitter broadcast accounts, you want to run. Um, we have the calendar, which is, you know, pretty nice. Um, and you can obviously, you know, set your status for your chat accounts here and, you know, they have a separate button here for, you know, shutting down, restarting, logging off, etc. It mustn't be part of um, the actual menu. I'm not sure what's wrong with this. It just doesn't want to open. It's a pain in the ass. Um, maybe, well, I presume if it was installed, it would have less issues opening up Google Chrome. It just doesn't want to open. So let's take a look at the menu. As you can see, it's a bit of a Windows 7 clone menu. Um, so we have Browse the Internet at the top, which I presume um, opens um, Google Chrome, or it looks to be Google Chrome. Uh, email. Uh, what's the email client? Oh, it's Evolution Email. We have Accessories, and you know, the the style is also a bit different in the menu. It's sort of like Windows 7, slightly different. Um, so yeah, and the, the oh yeah, so oh yeah, I see what they've done here. So these two must be pinned to the menu, so you must see them in every menu you go to. And then you have all these other categories. So accessories, we have an activity journal, calculator, character map. Um, we have a help um, file, search for files, take screenshot terminal, text editor, time and date. What screenshot application do they use? Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. It doesn't matter too much. Um, games, what games do they have by default? Solitaire, Mahjong, Mines. Quadrapassel and Sudoku. Uh, graphics, they have, you know, GIMP, uh, LibreOffice Draw, they probably have the whole LibreOffice suite of programs. Um, Shopwell Photo Manager, Simple Scan. Uh, internet, uh, Browse Internet, yeah, they have Google Chrome. I have, I have not seen one um, installation, I have not seen one distribution recently that comes with Google Chrome. They come with Chromium, they're not usually Google Chrome itself. Um, so yeah, we have Empathy, Evolution, Give a File, Sender, 
River um, Internet Browser Manager. I'm not sure what that is. Remote Desktop Viewer, um, Sun Java 6, Terminal Server Client. Let's just take a look at Internet Browser Manager. What is this? Ah, uh, yeah, it sort of gives you the option um, of what you want to install. So, yeah, Google Chrome's currently installed, though it's not working. Um, what else do we have here? I've looked at Internet, haven't I? Yes. Um, Office, you know, LibreOffice, I should expect. I like the icons. Uh, Evolution, Dictionary. Sound and Video, we have Banshee as the default media player, Brazero Disk Burner, Cheese Webcam Booth, I quite like that application, Movie Player, Open Shot Video Editor, Sound Recorder, VLC Media Player, most of your files will play out of the box. System Tools, Stage or Dup, um, Backup Tool, Ubuntu Tweak, Zorin Internet Browser Manager. Is that the same? Yeah, it's pretty much the same, it's just got a different name. Ah. Where was I? I keep forgetting what I've been viewing. Sorry about that. And Zorin Look Changer. What is Zorin Look Changer? Ah, so you can sort of change the style. So we currently have the Windows 7 one, I presume. You can make it look like Linux GNOME or you can make it look like um, Windows XP. Please re log in to apply changes. Um. Hopefully this works. On some of the distributions, they have a password to log back in. If this is the case, then I am screwed. <clears throat> um, so is there a log out button here? Shut down, restart, suspend, switch from live, lock screen. There doesn't seem to be a log out button. Oh, there it is. It's a bit odd how you have um, options down here and also options in the menu. So anyhow, let's just log out. Hopefully it doesn't have a password um, to um, log back in. Otherwise, I won't be able to get back in since this is the live DVD. Okay, I'm kind of screwed. What was that account called? I've got a feeling it was called live. Let's see if that works. Hopefully it works. I should have paid attention to the username. Okay, thankfully that worked. Um, so yeah, we have a sort of um, Zorin start menu, XP style. Uh, yeah, I, I like the Windows 7 menu a lot more personally. We've got the XP style menu which goes out, though I think most people would prefer the um, Windows 7 style um, menu they have. Um, I'm just going to quickly go back to, um, whoops. I'm just going to quickly change back to um, the Windows 7 style menu since I am pretty much looking at the default, um, you know, the default installation. So, hang on a second, I'm just going to quickly log back out. And at least I know the username's definitely live this time. So, yeah, I definitely like um, the. Windows um, 7 look more than the XP look and you can make it just look like a standard GNOME um, installation if you want. But keep in mind this distribution is targeted at um, Windows users. Though you know I'm quite happy with you know how it all looks and you know the default um, programs included more or less. Um, let's see if Chrome will open now that I've logged back in. Okay, the bar. I've noticed um, that this happens with a lot of the Ubuntu distributions lately. It sort of goes to this, um, I don't know, this sort of grey looking bar. Um, I don't know, it's like um, there's some sort of theme issue if you log out and back in too often, etc. And it's not just on the live DVD. It's a bit annoying. Um, anyhow, where was I up to? Uh, they have Ubuntu Tweak. You know, this should all be pretty standard. Yep. Um, they have Wine, you know, all the Wine applications. They have Play Online, which is nice. They have a software center. Okay, something went wrong there. There was the software center opening. Uh, yes, it is. 
having a few problems here. Uh, what software center is this? Is this the Ubuntu software center? No, it's just called software center. It might be based off of the Ubuntu software center, I'm not sure. Um, and we have places. Oh yeah, and this, you know, just comes up with all of your links to the file system, home folder, etc. And your music, pictures, videos, download folders. Uh, and we also have system, you know, you have the preferences and administration. Let's just quickly check this out. Oh yeah, it's all pretty standard. It just looks different in the menu here. So yeah, um, is there anything I can go through here? Yeah, we just have home folder, documents, pictures, music, videos, search, recent items, computer, network, network connections, control center and help. Let's take a quick look at the control center. Yeah, this is pretty standard. <coughs> um, and yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything else I can really show you. Let's see um, the options for the menu they have here. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, they have a few different um, sort of themes for the menu, which is pretty nice. Avio, Doc, Glow, Grey, iTheme. Oh, yeah, I quite like this. Uh, they have a KDE style menu, Core, uh, Lancelot, one just called Menu, Short, Slab, Slickness. You know, they have a lot of different menus here. You know, it's pretty nice. Um, which one should I try out? Lancelot doesn't look bad. The, you know, um, let's see, does it apply instantly? If I click OK. OK, restart the menu. Hopefully this works. Hopefully it doesn't just crash. Oh yeah, this looks pretty nice. This looks like a Mac style menu of some sort. So, oh yeah, you can, they make it really easy to customize it and make it look how you want to. So that is, yeah, that's really nice. You know. Um, I'm just going to put it back to the default for now. We're getting a few um, errors to do with the menu and Nautilus. Uh, what else do we have here? Button selection. Oh yeah, you can change the actual button there, which is always nice. I wonder if you can put your own there. Well, it's got an install link. You can probably put your own there if you want to. So yeah, what was it before? It was probably that. Um, and they have icon selection, so it must be for different icon sets. New styles, BW. Uh, we have preferences. Yeah, I won't go through all of that. We have different um, commands and about. It's the GNOME menu 2.9. So yeah, that's pretty much it really. Um, I can't think of anything else to show you. Um, you know, apart from the menu, um, the unique menu, um, and a few other things. You know, it's pretty much, you know, the same as most time um, distributions. So you know, I quite like this. Just um, I quite like this um, distribution. I'd recommend it um, to you know beginners. You know, Windows users coming across to Linux. Um, especially Windows 7 users wanting to try um, Linux, you know, it's all pretty familiar. You open a folder, it um, you know, comes up at the bottom here, and if it's not already pinned, you can pin it. What happens if I open multiple folders? Does it give you a screenshot? It doesn't appear to. Well, there's not much um to show really, though it doesn't really give you um a screenshot view. So it's pretty similar to Windows 7 and it's nice. I highly recommend that you check it out. Keep in mind I'm running it off the live DVD. It might be a bit less buggy once you actually install it. Um, feel free to ask me any questions um, if you need any help with anything. And thanks for watching.